This is the Music History Today podcast for September 30th. On today's show, BBC One Radio premieres, as does Porgy and Bess and the Magic Flute. First up, though, on this date in 1933, the Chicago Country Music Radio show, The National Barn Dance, became a national show. In 1938, Louis Armstrong divorced pianist Lil Armstrong. In 1941, the Larry Clinton Orchestra recorded the song, That Solid Old Man. In 1954, Patsy Cline signed her record deal with Four Stars Music Sales. In 1957, Louis Armstrong recorded the first stereo album that was recorded in the United States. It was Louis Armstrong Plays King Oliver. In 1965, Donovan performed on American television for the first time. The show was Shindig. In 1965, same day, Elvis Presley met Tom Jones for the first time and started a lifelong friendship. In 1967, the BBC started Radio One, its first pop music station. In 1968, Miles Davis married singer Betty Mabry. In 1987, the Roy Orbison concert film Roy Orbison, A Black and White Night was filmed in Los Angeles, California. In 1997, Randy Travis signed a record deal with DreamWorks Records Nashville. In 2006, the Farm Aid concert took place and Isaac Hansen of Hansen married his wife, Nicole Dufresne. In 2011, Jeremy Davis of Paramore married actress Catherine Camsey. In classical music in 1791, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart premiered the opera The Magic Flute. In theater in 1935, the musical Porgy and Bess premiered in Boston, Massachusetts. In 1954, Julie Andrews made her Broadway debut in the musical The Boyfriend. And in 1964, the Broadway show Oh, What a Lovely War opened. In award ceremonies that were held on September 30th in 1988, John Lennon received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 1991, Liza Minnelli received her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And in 1992, Garth Brooks was the big winner at the Country Music Association Awards. Albums that were released on September 30th include in 1963 when Martha Reeves and the Vandellas released Heat Wave. In 1969, Rare Earth released Get Ready. In 1970, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles released A Pocket Full of Miracles. In 1971, Three Dog Night released Harmony. In 1972, Joe Walsh released Barnstorm. In 1978, Gary Moore released Back on the Streets. In 1979, Godly and Cream released Freeze Frame. In 1982, Bruce Springsteen released Nebraska. In 1985, Tom Waits released Rain Dogs. In 1985, same day, Daryl Hall and John Oates released Live at the Apollo. Madness released Mad Not Mad. And... Wang Chung released the soundtrack to To Live and Die in L.A., along with Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble, releasing Soul to Soul. In 1987, Ian Dury released New Boots and Panties. In 1991, Nitzer Ebb released Ebhead, Robbie Robertson released Storyville, Simply Red released Stars, Paul McCartney released Choba BCCCP, and R.E.M. released The Best of R.E.M., in 1992, Natalie Cole released Twin Best Now. In 1994, The Beatles released The Beatles and Tony Sheridan, and Lake of Tears released Greater Art. In 1996, Secret Chiefs 3 released First Grand Constitution and Bylaws. In 1997, Patti Loveless released Long Stretch of Lonesome. Bob Dylan released Time Out of Mind. The Apples in Stereo released Tone Soul Evolution. And Patti Smith released Peace and Noise. In 2000, Turbo Negro released Darkness Forever. In 2002, Ace of Base released De Capo. Mark Knopfler released The Rag Picker's Dream. Then the Rolling Stones released 40 Licks. In 2003, Martina McBride released Martina. Bonnie Raitt released The Best of Bonnie Raitt on Capitol 1989 to 2003. Sting released Sacred Love. And Toto released The Essential Toto. In 2006, Jet released Shine On. In 2008, Melissa Etheridge released A New Thought for Christmas. Dion released Heroes, Giants of Early Guitar Rock. James Taylor released Covers. 
Tina Turner released Tina, the collected recordings, and Boz Skaggs released Speak Low. In 2011, Cool and the Gang released Back to Back. In 2013, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts released Unvarnished, and Rush released the studio albums 1989 to 2007. And in 2014, Melissa Etheridge released This Is M.E., Lucinda Williams released Down Where the Spirit Meets the Bone, and Brian Adams released Tracks of My Years. Singles that were released in the U.K. on September 30th include in 1966 when The Temptations released Beauty Is Only Skin Deep, and in 1985 Simple Minds released Alive and Kicking. Meanwhile, in America, in 1964, Marvin Gaye and Kim Weston released What Good Am I Without You? The Temptations in 1965 did a twofer. They released Don't Look Back and My Baby. In 1968, Diana Ross and the Supremes released Love Child. In 1969, Blood, Sweat, and Tears released And When I Die. In 1971, Isaac Hayes released The Theme from Shaft. In 1975, Elvis Presley did a twofer. He released Bringing It Back and Pieces of My Life. In 1977, Sheik released Dance, Dance, Dance. Yowza, yowza, yowza. In 1979, Kiss released Sure Know Something. In 1982, Marvin Gaye released Sexual Healing. In 1985, Madonna released Gambler and Tears for Fears released I Believe. In 1993, The Smashing Pumpkins released Today. In 2002, Matchbox 20 released Disease and The Rolling Stones released Don't Stop. In 2003, Ozzy Osbourne and Kelly Osbourne released Changes. In 2012, Faith Hill posted her new song, American Hearts, on Twitter, becoming the first country music act to do so. And in 2014, Ariana Grande and The Weeknd released Love Me Harder. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 30th include jazz drumming great Buddy Rich, rapper T-Pain, Trey Anastasio of Fish, Ben Lovett of Mumford & Sons, DJ Chantel Jeffries, Rapper Bankroll Hayden, Drew Dirksen of The Tide, Producer Sango, Producer Gus Dudgeon, Rapper Rilo Rodriguez, Rapper Mike Sherm, Singer Basia, Country Music Singer Deborah Allen, not to be confused with Debbie Allen, the choreographer, Reb Beach of Winger, Country Music Singer Marty Stewart, Mark Bolin of T-Rex, Singer Frankie Lyman of Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers, Marilyn McCoo of The Fifth Dimension, Sylvia Peterson of The Chiffons, Frank Zinkavage of Romeo Void, Singer Patrice Russian, Robbie Takik of The Goo Goo Dolls, Drew Martin of Buffalo Springfield and also the group The Dillards, Singer Sissy Houston, singer Johnny Mathis, John Lombardo of 10,000 Maniacs, singer Nick Curran, and jazz double bassist Oscar Pettiford. Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 30th include composer Francesco Durante, who passed away in 1755 at the age of 71. Composer Charles Broche passed away in 1803 at the age of 51. Composer Nicholas Rosé passed away in 1819 at the age of 74. Composer Henri Bertini passed away in 1876 at the age of 77. Pianist Louis Lacombe passed away in 1884 at the age of 65. Composer Mary Allitson passed away in 1912 at the age of 63. Composer Walter Colo passed away in 1940 at the age of 62. Composer Arnold Foster passed away in 1963 at the age of 66. Mary Ford of Les Paul and Mary Ford passed away from alcohol issues in 1977 at the age of 53. 
pianist Burl Booker passed away in 1978 at the age of 56. Orchestra conductor Boyd Neal passed away in 1981 at the age of 76. Saxophonist Freddie Martin passed away in 1983 at the age of 76. Composer Robert Sholom passed away in 1987 at the age of 74. Composer Virgil Thompson passed away in 1989 at the age of 92. Pianist Ronnie Aldrich passed away in 1993 at the age of 77. Pianist Pavel Stepan passed away in 1998 at the age of 73. Band leader Anna Mae Winburn of the International Sweethearts of Rhythm passed away in 1999 at the age of 86. Pianist Ellis Larkins passed away in 2002 at the age of 79. Guitarist Ronnie Dawson passed away from cancer in 2003 at the age of 64. Songwriter and guitarist for Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, Marv Tarplin passed away in 2011 at the age of 70. Composer Cesar Bolaños passed away in 2012 at the age of 81. Singer Oscar Brand passed away in 2016 at the age of 96. Tom Paley of the New Lost City Ramblers passed away in 2017 at the age of 89. Singer Kim Larson passed away in 2018 at the age of 72. Opera legend Jesse Norman passed away in 2019 at the age of 74. Reggae singer Louis Rankin passed away in a car accident in 2019 at the age of 66. Video game music composer Kochi Sugiyama passed away in 2021 at the age of 90. Flute player Kevin Locke passed away in 2022 at the age of 68. And the drummer for the meters and also the funky meters, Russell Batiste passed away from heart issues in 2023 at the age of 57. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 1st when in 1982, Sony released the first compact disc player. (laughs) 